Hey everyone, it is Saturday, September 3rd. The time is 5.42 p.m. and I'm here at Rosedale Station. And the temperature right now, I think is around 28 degrees Celsius. And there's a look south. And that was a northbound train that was just rolling into the station. And for this one, I'm going to make my way south to meet my friends at the Imperial Pub. And that's located just around the corner from the intersection of Young and Dundas. And I'm supposed to be there at 6.30. So I'm going to fire up my Strava app on this one. According to Google Maps, from Rosedale Station to the Imperial Pub should be about 2.6 kilometers and take about 32 minutes. Although in my experience that would be more like 24 minutes the way I walk. Okay. but I don't think I'll follow Young Street all the way down. It seems I have a little bit of time to kill. And this is my first time leaving the house today. Or I guess apartment to be more specific. There's not a whole lot going on in the city this weekend. So I did get to listen to a lot of planes taking part in the air show buzz overhead of my apartment. Across the other side, there's an outdated sign. You'll find a lot of the construction signs in the city are nonsensical. And I'm feeling a few light raindrops right now. Although the sky is pretty blue. If you're wondering where this is, it is just north of downtown. And usually when I'm making my way along the stretch, I'm in one of the bike lanes, either on a scooter or one of my bikes. This guy is riding on the sidewalk, despite there being a bike lane right there. I guess he really hates bike lanes. Oh, there he goes. So a million people are going to buy these tickets. 
So if you can't tell already, this is gonna be one of my lower key walks. I don't really have a lot of talking points planned. We're just gonna kinda walk to the pub, take things in, make a few observations. By the time the next weekend rolls around, all the kids will be back in school. I think university will be back in session. car freaked that cyclist out. There's a lot of good driving going on just back there. Here is Church Street. Maybe I'll find my way over to church and I'll walk south through the village. But I'll stick to Young for a few more blocks, at least into downtown. surprised that Ferrari is making it right on Yorkville Avenue. And Toronto gets a lot of slack for the generic nat nature of a lot of its high-rises that have gone in. Hey, ever heard of using a turn signal? <laughs> Not even using the turn signal. Further to my point, <laughs> I quite like this condo. It's one of my favorites, at least of the newer ones that have gone up. And they've good a, or done a good job of preserving the facade along Young Street here. And that's not something you can say about um, probably most of the new developments further to the south of here on Young Street. It's really turned into a high-rise corridor. All right, I'm getting a message. They will be there between 6.30 and 6.38. Tim Hortons here, and right next to it was a Starbucks, but both cafes have disappeared. There's a food courier on a Zumo e-bike. And I don't think you can actually buy those. I looked them up and you rent them for a monthly fee of $59. And I think they take care of all the maintenance. And this is the intersection of Young and Bloor. There is one blur west starting to rise.
I think the excitement around Chick-fil-A has died down a bit. I haven't seen big lines in front in quite a while. There's one of my recs for great affordable eats in the city. I was just bombing down on the wrong side of the road. Alright, maybe I'll go one more block to the south of here. Yeah, let's go along Charles. Like I said, I don't really have a plan for this one as long as I'm not late. This is a boutique hotel here on the right. Hello, sir. No, that's okay. I know it's a tough area to park. Oh, yeah, for sure. Do we have an install the door? This park has been closed for quite a while now, I think over a year. This is one of a trio of parks. I'll connect you down to the Dundonald entrance to Wellesley Station. And there's Sanctuary. That's an outreach center of sorts. I think I saw that Ken just did a video along Charles Street. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a street downtown that's changed more in character over the last decade than Charles here. It is just high rise after high rise, or at least the east side of Charles Street. I don't think a whole lot has changed west of Young Street. And this project is taking quite a bit of time to get going. Another facade preservation project. And if you're a fan of dining in the dark, I think this is the only place you can do that in the city. Noir? I don't know anyone that's eaten there. I like the 
And you can see on the ground there, the rain has started to come down a bit more. Not that I have an umbrella on me. Or anything, I didn't even bring my backpack. They're prepared. And this is the Church Wellesley Village. On a Saturday evening. You know, check the camera lens. Well, it appears to be pretty dry so far. Right, I'm not using my regular camera. And the controls are slightly different on this one. How not to walk down the sidewalk. Hey, well, you're gonna burn your lashes off with that Oh, I literally burnt my eyes. I felt a little boy. Let's see what Strava is saying. I've traveled 1.55 kilometers, currently going at a speed of 5.6 kilometers per hour. Might be time to start covering the camera with my phone. Ooh, it is raining. And I think I just heard some thunder rumbling. The idea was to kind of dilly-dally and stretch this walk out, so I got there around 6.30. Maybe this puts a wrench into those plans. There's Storm Crow Manor. We're also thinking about trying to grab a seat on the patio. I don't know how well covered it is. It's been a while since I've been to the Imperial. Last time I was there was pre-pandemic. Be strong, be kind to you. And this is the intersection of Church and Wesley coming up. Now, I always seem to walk down the east side when I come through this neighborhood. Maybe for this one, we'll stick to this side of the street. check the camera lens. Somehow it is holding up despite the rain. That's pretty good. Ah, I'm going to be impatient and just keep crossing with the lights. So it's 
much for that plan. I think there's more patios and that sort of thing along this side of the street anyways. ginger just at the Young and Bloor to the Church Wellesley Ginger. That's a much bigger location. And this is Church in Maitland. It's always funny watching people's eyes start down <laughs> at my camera when I walk past them. And a look north up church. Maybe what I'll do is I'll head south down to Girard. And then I'll make my way back over to Young. Sounds like a plan to me. I think that lady was just doing a WTF with that minivan over there. I think this is the site of where the Alexander Wood statue used to be, that light gray slab of concrete right there. He was considered a pioneer in the LGBTQ community. He was also associated with some less savory acts and couldn't escape cancellation. And the intersection of Church and Carlton coming up is closed. This is the back side of Maple Leaf Gardens on the right. And Young Street just off in the distance.
so it's quite the detour to go around. That is why you don't ride your bike on the sidewalks. That guy almost hit someone. You get a good look at the track work being done. There's Mickey Finns. That bar has the distinction of being the first place I ever tried a strongbow. I think that would have been either the late 90s or early 2000s. It's certainly been there for quite a while. I had friends who live just around the corner here on Granby Street. But there were U of T students at the time. Even though the location might suggest they were going to Ryerson, I remember One of those friends' parents bought them the house just for their time in university. That vehicle had an Ohio plate. That was probably the accidental investment of a lifetime. They probably paid around half a million for a house that's now worth well over two. It was one of these three-story townhomes on the right. I think about halfway down the street. And we used to go to the pub that was in this location. I think the pubs are just playing musical chairs with that spot. That Kinton has a crazy big patio section. That's a chain. They have a location in Young and Eglinton. And according to Strava, I've gone 2.68 kilometers. So had I have just gone straight down Young, I would have been there by now. And here we are at Gerard Street. That is the university formerly known as Ryerson across the street. With school back in session soon, I'm planning on doing updated walks around Ryerson and U of T, or I guess TMU. It's gonna take some time to get used to that new name. the time I get used to it, they'll probably come to their senses and rename it to something better. There's another empty sightseeing bus.
It is a pretty cool looking sky. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Speaking of sky, there is Concord Sky, or the future home of Concord Sky. It's an 85 story tower going up. presence in Toronto skyline. I actually quite like the design. And rumor has it that they're applying for a 10-story increase. Here's Jean and Gerard and there's the new urban format IKEA just across the street. on the corner here used to be the big slice that was an institution in this neighborhood This is my preferred path for walking along this stretch. There's the new Kanji Queen occupying Swiss Chalet's old spot. Spirit cannabis. I was reading that cannabis sales are down across the board throughout the city. Well, not that they are down, they're down per store because so many new stores have sprouted up. And I think it's inevitable that there'll be a reckoning of sorts, and a number of locations will be closing pretty soon. I'll be making a left at Young and Dundas. So for the third straight video, I'll be featuring part of Young and Dundas. Got some messages rolling in.
yesterday when I was here, the first time it was blue skies. And the next time it was dark. Now we've got these neat overcast skies. this event is. frequency. And there is the Imperial Pub. It looks like they have some covered spots on their patio. I'm going to get up there and see if I can snag us a table. be blasting music in there so I won't leave the camera running. This is usually a safe bet to jaywalk along here but might as well wait for the lights at this point. this in my video yesterday but the Imperial might not be here much longer. There's plans to put up a condo on this block. Here's your worst nightmare when you spot a patio you see an open table and some people setting up shop there. Oh well. There's the iconic storefront. So I hope you enjoyed this one, starting at Rosedale, making my way south down Young and through the Church Wellesley Village, over to here at the Imperial Pub. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and Instagram, or <laughs> YouTube channel membership in the description, Instagram too. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. All right, thank you for watching, and as always, I will continue.